Welcome back to Badger BS. This is Perla Arellano, senior reporter with the Ranger newspaper. This is Bailey Myers, editor of the AC Current. And I'm Amanda Castro-Christ, editor of the Ranger, our student newspaper. This is a show where we get topics from Facebook, Twitter, Instagram that you send in, and we give our opinions on them. So, Bailey, do you want to pick the first topic? I would be honored to. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Let me look in this big box. There's so <laughs> many of them. <laughs> okay. Um, this is from Vanessa Garcia. Uh, if you could be any animal, what would you be and why? Amanda? Turtle duck fish. <laughs> because I want to fly, but I want to swim. But also, I kind of just want to lay around like a turtle and do nothing. And live forever. Yeah. You get to live forever. forever. You would live a very long time. Animals don't live very long compared to us. But turtles live turtles forever. Turtles live longer than us. Yeah. So. And tur I could be a sea turtle. A sea turtle with wings. That's what I want to be. A sea turtle with wings. Sea turtle with wings. Mm -hmm. So it's like Narnia, sort of, what you're thinking of? Or just Oh my god, I didn't even fantasy? think about Narnia animals. <laughs> <laughs> this does not say real life animals. <laughs> what would you be, for like? Um, I would be an owl because they're majestic and they're beautiful. And because... I, I think, would, <laughs> yeah, you need to tell why you'd be an owl. I would want to be an owl because um, getting off of my old work that I don't work at anymore, <laughs> I was driving down the road, and this is an empty road where bar and owl usually live in, and there was this owl right in the middle of it, and I was driving my car, and it wouldn't move. It was just staring me down, and I told my dad this same story, and he said, you know what? You, the, Those owls are night owls, and you probably got blinded by the light so <laughs> it took out all the majestic out so of it so you really it was it was like he had done something wrong and then you felt bad no it was like oh this owl was just blinded by me that's why he was standing his ground he, he didn't would, have anywhere to go <laughs> he didn't have a purpose he just couldn't move <laughs> he just couldn't move <laughs> but i would still like to be an owl that's pretty awesome i feel like i have to have a story <laughs> i don't have a story i mean you know i, I want to be a monkey i want to be <laughs> that sounds so wrong I think monkeys are great. Monkeys are so much like us, and they live a long time, don't they? Mm -hmm. No, I don't think so. I well, think they're they primates, do. though. What kind of monkey? Like a Fuji monkey, like the one off the night at the museum. Because it slaps people and it doesn't get in trouble because <laughs> it's a monkey. <laughs> and it's cute and adorable, and I feel like everyone would love me. I feel like that would probably be the best one because it sounds kind of like cappuccino, which has nothing to do with capuchin. Well, it's fun to say capuchin. But you drink and, a lot of coffee. Oh, I have a story, you guys. I have a picture with a capuchin monkey. <gasps> you do? Where did you meet a capuchin monkey? At the fair. Is it shaking oh. your hair? They don't bring him every year. Oh. No, he's got like his hand around my neck or something. He kept pulling my hair, <laughs> and they had to keep him from pulling my hair. But Wasn't he like chained up by the throat? He was chained by the throat. That's sad. Which is kind of creepy, but he had a cute outfit on. So I wonder if he would have ran mm -hmm. away if they had taken the chain off, like gone know. to start his little monkey you life. See, it was a circus monkey. You know, I. this is a totally other topic i i have always dreamed of being in the circus so but you would be good <laughs> as a capuchin yeah. monkey <laughs> a capuchin monkey in the capuchin circus monkey. anyway that's enough about me <laughs> do you want to pick <laughs> another topic yes i would okay like so should this be our winner our five dollar winner this next topic that we pick okay oh, i don't know should it be yeah yeah let's okay. do this one it. okay look at all these topics there's so many <laughs> oh duck face by ken and Aya. So he's about to win. Congratulations, Ken and I. Okay, so what about Duckface? Do you like Duckface? They're overrated. I just, just like the Rolling Stones. They're not. No, they're a good it's band. Not. <laughs> they're a good band. Mm -hmm. so, you just sorry. opened a whole. They're really How great. Are we to talk I really about duck like face their now? music. Their music. Do you like the Rolling Stones? <laughs> <laughs> I do. So it was okay. Okay, but but they're still overrated. No, duck, duck faces are still overrated. Um, like Facebook pictures. I just, they're not attractive. They, maybe they are to some people. Maybe we just don't. I don't know. Well, the question is, are you really trying to look nice or are you trying to hide behind your duck face? Because I don't know. honestly, every time I see someone with a duck face thing going on, I think that they are just... Well, I mean, they're obviously posing, and I feel like if you just naturally smile like everyone else in the world, you look so much prettier. And Maybe they don't feel they yourself. look pretty. Maybe that's just how yeah. their smile is. I don't know. I don't know. We I should try to figure out if anyone actually smiles I, that way. I don't know that it's even just duck face. It's any of the contrived poses that you do, like, 
I don't know, just any of the weird poses that people do to get more likes or more views on their pictures. It bugs me. Okay. Just take a picture. Just What about, have you seen the girls that put their hand on their hip every time they take a yes. photo? I don't even want to say what I call those girls because it's not a bad word. Hip but hand <laughs> Yes. Uh, no, from a certain region. They're girls from a certain region. I shouldn't have mentioned this. No, I'm not saying this. From a certain, no, wait. You have to. I can't. A region. <laughs> yes, like, they're from the, the beaches of Norway. I don't know. We're not going to say it. Norway's a beautiful country if you're watching this. This is not something you say <laughs> on camera. It's not a bad word. Now I feel like a terrible person. All I'm saying is that it looks kind of cheesy and it looks very posed. I can go with that. Yeah. Like if you're going through Facebook and you see pictures of people and they all have the same pose, it's just weird. Well, I would much rather see somebody doing something interesting than posing in front of their bathroom mirror. Mm -hmm. You know what? It's not even that they're doing anything interesting. I think they should stop and get out of the restroom and go out <laughs> to places and take interact pictures with people there. Instead interact of with people and then take pictures with a duck face. I think that'd be better. I don't think it's the duck face. I think it's the restroom. Oh. So the vanity of taking 100 duck face pictures? What yeah. about just, is it just the fact that you take a lot of duck face pictures? Is that what you're saying? Like, mm -hmm. Because I was looking at someone's photos the other day, and they were doing the thing where they put their hand in front of their mouth like this, and they had a long sleeve, like, hoodie on. And I thought, okay, if this is one of their pictures, whatever, it's a little, you know, a little different. But I saw their photos, and every single picture, they were posing that way. Every single picture. I mean, you could only see a quarter of their face. Well, so. What bugs me is that photography has always been, like, historically, it's been a way to capture a moment of significance. Mm -hmm. And we've we've ruined that with our being self-involved and taking a hundred selfies when you could go out and actually take pictures of things that matter and actually mean something instead of you just in front of your bathroom mirror. But it's also crazy because I, I was watching the news one time and they were talking about how these selfies raise your self-esteem about, about all these comments. But did, don't. But I was thinking about it, and I was thinking about this. I was like, but it's false self-esteem. It's not like something that you physically say to someone. It's something that's written. That it could be. You can write it and be like, oh, you look so beautiful. But then when you turn away from that keyboard, you're like, she looks horrible. That duck face is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Well, it's funny because I actually know um, someone that's doing a hundred days of selfies, which mm -hmm. I guess is something going around the internet. I don't know. Um, and she poses in a lot of her photos, I've noticed. Um, but I had wondered about it. It was kind of, she's treating it as a way to love herself and see a photo of herself every day. Like, I think part of the um, first half of the 100 days, or she's not halfway through, but it was like the first four days she was sick. Mm -hmm. And she took the photos anyway. It was saying, hey, I don't care. This is who I am. Well, see, so. that has a purpose. But just mm -hmm. taking and posting 30 of the same photos that you took in the bathroom because you think your, your makeup looks good that day. Mm -hmm. Or taking duck. What are you going to remember about that? Day? You're not even going to remember that day because in a few days you'll take 30 more, and it's not there's it's nothing not of a significant moment to look back on. Yeah, and say, I, I know what you mean. Totally okay, agree. so do we want to do one more topic? Yeah, or? let's do another. Okay. Oh man, let's Ooh, see. School box. <laughs> this one is from Emily Prestwood, Emma Lou on Twitter. Discuss any outrageous outfits you've seen on campus this semester. Yeah, okay. Well, you know how I feel about the backpacks. <laughs> polka dot backpacks, the guys that wear the polka dot backpacks, you know who you are, and I want to know why you're wearing them, honestly. Um, are you wanting to, like, take back that fashion, or are you just mad that they're wearing them? I think I'm just angry. I just don't get it. I don't understand, and I don't know what they're trying to say. Is like, hey, I'm cool, I'm risky, I don't really care what you think, you know? I mean, is that the purpose of fashion? To you just say, I don't care well, what you it think. Is, but I think, I think what bugs you more is that it's, it's a pretension. It's not actually that yeah. they're trying to make a fashion statement. It's just that they feel like this fits the, oh, edgy look of it. I and think, it's not... yeah, I would agree. It, it, I, I think, think it's just should, that it's like a fad. I think they should keep wearing those backpacks and start <laughs> being more outrageous because then then you can take a selfie and post it on Facebook. And it would be memorable. And it would be memorable. I think that should come back. I think 70 style Were we back. all in the same intro to Mass Com class? We were, weren't we? I think so. The guy that used to come in with like a whole pizza and like his grandma's oh, no. shirt and yeah. like fur boots and stuff. Yeah. I don't know if that was like a fashion statement or if he just didn't care or if he was just trying to be, if he was trying to out 
outrage, not outrage, but be more outrageous than his other friends that were kind of on the fence the about toxin. outrageousness. But the now, question is, was he always like that too, or is this something new? Yeah. But now we're talking about him, so it was worth it. Peaks a guy. Yeah, he was remembered. <laughs> In the Badger BS show. <laughs> it was always just the most random stuff, though. Like one day he brought in like a jug of orange juice or something. I don't even remember all the stuff they brought in, but mm-hmm. it was interesting. I never really looked. I just noticed his outfit. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, well, so I think that was outrageous. Okay, so and Ken and I won the, won the five the, dollar card. Yeah, yeah, so coffee card. card. Yeah, so. so it's worth submitting your topic on Twitter or Facebook, and you might win a five dollar. What is it, roaster's card? Yes, coffee. Five dollar roaster's card. We know college students like that. Because we can't keep awake in class. No. <laughs> I, like I can't one. either. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that's it for this week. We'll be back next week. Make sure you submit your topics on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Use the hashtag BadgerBS, and maybe you'll get some coffee and be able to stay awake in whatever in class. class.